Hello everyone, welcome back to Crack Suit. It's day six of 30 days challenge and I'm back with a new video. And firstly, I want to say sorry for breaking the 30 days challenge and not uploading for last two days as I was really unwell and now I'm back and I'm going to continue it. So today in this video, I'm going to give you another mind-blowing in-depth review of the latest Project Elixir 3.11 which is running on Android 13. I'll cover all of its features, customizations, settings, and everything that you need to know. And also one more thing, while I was using this ROM, I found one bug, and we are going to talk about that later in this video. So be sure to stick around and let's start the video. As you can see, this is Project Elixir ROM 3.11, which has this new core kernel available. And if you look at the Android security update, it is from August 5, 2023. Kernel SU support. First of all, I'll show you whether it supports kernel SU or not. And for this, I'll use the kernel SU app. And as you can see, it's saying unsupported, which means it does not support kernel SU and your phone is not rooted. Safety net status. Now let's take the safety net status of this ROM and for this I am using the safety net test app. I'll run the test and as you can see it has passed the safety net compatibility test which means you can run banking apps and other applications smoothly without getting any errors. Camera. Talking about camera, it comes with none other than the infamous MIUI camera which has features like photos, videos, short videos, slow motion and more. Also it comes with a 48 megapixel camera feature which is really good. Unlimited photos and video storage. Now let's check whether this room provides unlimited photos and video storage options or not. As you can see, it's written, this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge, which means you can upload as many photos and videos to Google Photos app without worrying about storage limitations. Wallpapers and styles. Now let's jump into the wallpapers and style section where you will find the same old basic look. It does not have the latest interface, which I found on Pixel OS ROM. But it does come with a live wallpaper feature, which also has emoji wallpapers, which I also found while reviewing Pixel OS ROM. Talking about options, you will get options like dark theme, themed icons, app grid, system icon packs, and icon fonts. From the app grid, you can select up to a 6 into 10 sized grid option, which looks something like this on the home screen and on the app drawer. Launcher. So now let's shift our focus to the launcher available in this room. As you can see, this room comes with launcher 3, which has some customizations and features available too. If you enter into launcher settings, you will get plenty of options to decorate the icons, home screen, app drawer, recent section, suggestions, and there is also a miscellaneous section. From the miscellaneous section, you can enable the use taskbar option, which is now improved a lot. Now it's very easier to use this taskbar feature on our phone and is smooth to use as well. But in this miscellaneous section, there is no hide app option, which is really sad to say, but you can access the app lock feature from the security section, which I will show you later in this video. Similarly, another thing that exists in this launcher setting is in the recent section, where you can enable these five options like screenshot, memory info, lens, clear all, and set the phone to clear all tasks. And all of the features are working properly, including the set phone to clear task option, which will basically clear all the available recent apps from the recent section just by setting your phone. And this is really a cool feature that was also available in its previous version. Quick settings. Now let's talk about the quick setting panel available in this room. As you can see, there are no lags or slowdowns in the quick setting panel. You will feel smooth transitions while swiping up and down here. And it also comes with lots of tiles for quick navigation like it has some useful tiles like the hotspot tile which will open the hotspot even if you have connected Wi-Fi on your device. And you can share that Wi-Fi as a hotspot to other devices. Other useful quick setting tiles include dark theme, QR code scanner, 
compass, calculator, font size, extra dim, etc. Now that we have explored all of its basic features, let's jump into its settings section and explore what's inside. Private DNS. At first in the settings section there is network and internet setting where in the last section you will find the private DNS option which basically is like a secret address book that helps keep your internet activities more private and secure by encrypting the domain name request your phone makes. If you want me to make a separate video on it you can comment down below and one more thing this ROM does not come with a custom DNS list which makes me upset as it's one of the useful feature for me. Monet theming. In the Project Alexa ROM, you won't be getting any custom theme option in its display setting, not even in the dark theme section. But it does offer custom theming options which are located in its Essence section. Here in Essence, you will find the theme section where you will get five different options to choose from. It's not the highest number of options, but also not the least option that it has. Similarly, from here, you can also change body font style. Icon pack, icon shape, signal icon style, and Wi Fi icon style options. Frankly speaking, there are no changes made in this section. But if you like doing customizations, you will definitely love it as it offers plenty of options. More Essence settings. Similarly, in the Essence section, which is also a customization hub of the Project Elixir, you can perform a lot of customizations in it. It's not the craziest number of customizations, but you will be more than satisfied with the number of customizations option it provides. You get sections like lock screen for different lock screen related settings, status bar settings from where you can do tons of customizations on status bar items, quick setting for lots of quick settings related customizations like change QS style style, brightness slider style, QS header image and lots of more customizations. From gesture settings, you can enable options like swipe to take a screenshot, double tap to check your phone while it's off, system navigation options like gesture and buttons, one handed mode, quickly open the camera and more gesture settings. And at last, there is the miscellaneous setting where there is my most needed option, which is advanced restart option which will show the option to reboot your phone to recovery and even in bootloader mode. Also, it comes with the option to remove the screenshot and screen record restrictions from all the apps on your phone. Also, for gamers, there is the option to unlock higher FPS in games and the game space option, which will enhance your gaming experience even better. Battery settings. Talking about the battery, this room gives excellent battery backup and it also comes with lots of battery related settings which you can easily find in the setting menu. Even at last, you will find an option to enable battery widget on your home screen which looks something like this on your home screen. And if you want to enable the extreme battery saver option, you just need to enter into the battery saver option. Security. Moving to our security settings, you will get all the necessary settings that your phone originally provides like fingerprint and face unlock biometric authentication. Also here one option used to be hidden inside and that is the app lock feature. Before it used to be in launcher setting but nowadays you will find it in this section. If you want to lock any application, you can do it from here and increase security. System settings. In system setting also, you will get a wide number of options which are really important too. Here you will get options like gestures, backup, multiple users, Xiaomi parts, Alexa updater and more. Bugs With all these exciting features and customizations, unfortunately, I found one bug in this room, which may give you a bad experience as well. So inside Essence, there is a lock screen setting where you will find the lock screen shortcut option. Here you can choose left and right shortcuts. Currently, there is a camera and flashlight option showing. But if I change this flashlight option to the QR code scanner and see what's showing on the lock screen shortcut, it will still show the flashlight icon there. Even if you change to any other shortcuts, it will show the same flashlight icon there. That flashlight icon is stock there and cannot be changed unless you select the non option for the left shortcut. 
then that flashlight shortcut icon will disappear so this one bug that i found while using this room and talking about another bug which is also not a major bug but it's somehow like a glitch which occurs only for one setting what basically happens is if you go inside system setting you will find xiaomi parts option and if you open that xiaomi parts section and go back to system settings with back gesture then in the recent section it will still showcase that xiaomi parts section and again if you touch that xiaomi parts from the recent section and again if you go back from the xiaomi parts then it shouldn't show the xiaomi parts section on the recent app section but it will again show that xiaomi parts in recent app section so these are the two bugs that i found in this project elixir room so this is all about project elixir 3.11 which i believe i showcased and explained in detail without leaving anything out Personally, I like this room a lot and if I had to use any custom room, this room comes to my mind first. In this version, I found some minor box as well, which I think won't ruin your experience. So I can suggest using this room as a daily driver. So thank you so much for watching this video till the end. And if you liked our video, then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to Cracks YouTube channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.